Okay, what's up there, everybody? I hope you're having a good one, and we are going to be looking at the Terry Bogard video movie trailer reveal. They revealed this at Evolution 2024 just very recently, and let's play through this and see what is going on here. We're then, of course, we're going to go through it for a second time and pick out all kinds of fun and special information along the way. So... Here we go. Terry is Pow Pow Cafe special VIP for the store's opening. But whenever the hungry wolf's around, you know that his fights are going to be a hot topic. You. Oh, wait, he's going all out here! Is this gonna do it? to today very cool hey there <laughs> it's funny that's right absolutely yeah so um so we just saw a video there for Terry Bogard and we're going to start picking through this and then we're going to go into we're going to go into all of that including um, the breakdown of his outfit and everything okay so the first thing what do we see here well I think it's interesting because we see barrels on the left hand side and of course barrels automatically makes me think of the classic barrel breaking for the bonus stage but in addition to that this is a beautiful background here and this background is from Fatal Fury P.A.O. Po Po cafe stage from Fatal Fury 1991 so that is what this background is here I like the dragons a lot okay so here we go and what we're seeing is Terry Bogard right so we're seeing a guy um, and he's you know, obviously athletic, um, like a very muscled athletic. Now, he's not a huge guy, like this guy right here, but he's maybe average height, but uh, built, but not huge. Terry is pow pow cafe. Oh, there it is. They just said it, pow pow cafe. So, what else are we seeing? He's wearing blue jeans, uh, the ripped white t-shirt, his um, red vest and the red cap, blonde hair pulled back. So his creator who worked at Capcom, and that's Takashi Nishiyama, worked on Street Fighter and worked on Street Fighter 2 and he wanted the main character to be Terry Terry Bogard but the name wasn't going to be Terry Bogard it's going to be Joe and he had Joe in the very beginning of Street Fighter 2 he's the guy that throws the punch right before you start looking up 
the building and it says Street Fighter 2 at the top of the building. Excuse me. That's Joe. So when Capcom in general said we want to move forward with Ryu and you know some other things had happened there. Uh, Takashi said you know what I have a very good opportunity to work at SNK because they were offering him a very good position and um, basically more control. So he left Capcom and he went to SNK and created Terry Bogard which if you really look at it Terry and Ryu at the end of the day are both re wearing red and white it's just that one has emphasis, more emphasis on one color than the other. Uh, Terry in using uh, jeans also. A special VIP for the store's opening. But whenever the hungry... So, when they did the Ed reveal, and they showed Ed swaying, and they showed Ed's kill, kill run, and... And then they had his different moves. You know, the Psycho Upper, Psycho Knuckle. Um, I think he had a machine gun in there. They had that, and they were using that also in the game. We just saw a sidestep there from Terry, which is making me wonder if he's going to be able to have something like that in the game, some sort of a turn punch, some sort of an elusiveness involving movement in his uh, build kit. You know that his fights are he did it again, but he got hit that time. His hat, his hat got knocked off. Now. This guy here, they tried to have characters that are also callback characters to Fatal Fury, but they're not the exact characters, right? But, but they're built on what the characters would be. So this character here is supposed to be Joe Higashi, and he has the band on his forehead. Then this girl here is um, blonde and she's wearing red and blue, right? And I believe she's supposed to be Blue Mary. So then he basically, and, and we're going to talk about this too, um, is leveling himself up. And he is going into his burn knuckle Buster Wolf move, where he's going to shoot forward for his special enhanced uh, lunging punch. Okay, now that person right here is supposed to be Andy Bogard. So this is Andy Bogard, Blue Mary, and Joe Higashi. And they're all going, oh my gosh, Terry is going to punch this guy really hard. Bam. Now it's going to be interesting to see if this is going to be sort of like the Psycho Crusher. Is this going to have some sort of invincibility through projectiles? Is this going to have an invincibility through projectiles maybe uh, at the first couple of frames on startup? No, we don't know. It's, it's very, very, very early. He looks good. He looks really nice. He has a very, very, very slight... Um, five o'clock shadow you can see uh, in certain spots in certain aspects you can see pores um, I think they did a great job on his eyes 
he looks he looks very good he looks i i like the proportions of how they did everything in his face i think he looks for sh like for a game that's sort of a realistic cartoony game he looks realistic he looks good look at all these little hairs here they did they did a good job Yeah, they did a really good job with him. I bet SNK is so freaking stoked. <laughs> SNK is like, yes. You know, and the funny thing is, um, Terry Bogard, SNK in general, they've had multiple, um, cross events cross games with Capcom so they've had um, Capcom versus SNK um, and you know those were popular games but they haven't had excuse me they haven't had it just be a character that's just you're here with us now. So I think it's just very, very good and important. And also, these companies, um, a, a friend of mine and I have tried to get some different companies to open a line of communication back and forth to see if something could happen with, with other things in the past. And from what we had heard, there's always a very, majority of the time, but always a very important emphasis on, this is our character, you have to base, you know, you have to treat him with respect, because there's a little bit of a stance of, they're out of our hands to a certain extent, and they're in yours now. So we have to make sure that they're being treated and represented in a certain way that's right so that we still look good on our end, you know, and everything is okay with, with us and what they're representing, what they are, literally, what they are is us on our end here. And, uh, and then, of course, the game that's, that's taking them in uh, tries to cover the bases and then, you know, make the, make the character shine. And in, in addition to that, when you make the character shine and do well, it makes more people want to buy that character and put time in and money into the character because they look cool and they might be really good. So, um, so that's that's a good thing. They're saying that uh, Terry Joe is going to be coming out in autumn time, two thousand and twenty-four. The Pow Pow Cafe stage from Fatal Fury ninety-one uh, will be coming through also. I'm sure that um, Joe Higashi, um, Andy Bogard, and Blue Mary will be parts of um, Terry's storyline. And it looks very, very good. The guy he's fighting is supposed to be Lao from real belt to intro very interesting that's a good pickup that's a really good pickup Kenny that was good yeah and um, a lot of people are, are hoping that he's going to have his well a bit of his kit from uh, from KOF but the interesting thing is is this so what the uh, Street Fighter trailer showed was this is a Street Fighter game, right? This is a Capcom game. You're in our world now, but you're still doing a nostalgia, reminiscent move of your world. So that was right there, and that was the only offensive attack that he did. So that, that's saying a lot. But in addition to that, I'm sure that he's going to have things that are going to be specifically built and fit to the Street Fighter 6 engine. 
So we're going to have to see what um, what those things are. And I bet there will be new things, which is exciting. Yeah. But very, very cool there. Very cool. Um, oops. Very nice. Anybody else have anything that they want to talk about with um, with Terry at all?